Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 45, October 23rd, the week before the eve of release, but we'll get back to that. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to be here right now with us, but we have a good group. It's nice. We have some regulars and a couple new people. It's always good. All right. The agenda is the agenda. It always is. Pinky, we're doing triage and whip review just to figure out you know, how things are going. We have a few bugs to talk about, but that'll be always good. Uh, we will have our open discussion on progress, which usually just means a review of where we're at, where we're going, and haven't had much discussion about it. But that's okay, because I guess we all agree, um, or so far. And then we'll do questions, comments, or anything else that has come up this week um, that people didn't get on the agenda earlier this week. So with that, we're going to go jump to the website and start working our way through triage and the WIP review. Dun, da, da, dun. Bugs. Bugs. Um, we'll start at the bottom. You ready, Bob? Go. Go. All right. Um... So I opened this bug, assigned it to myself, because in the great refactoring the database, there is some stuff busted in patching that is really a mess and hard and stuff like that. And rather than keep a gigantic change on my machine, I, I made the uh, executive call to go forward and then open this bug and go back and fix this bug. Mostly, this function needs to be fixed, this command. So anyway, um, I do think we should take this bug. <laughs> Yeah, that seems appropriate. Yeah, right. Not much more to say there. Install dir dialog folder contains invalid character path question mark. Hmm. Um, yeah, so uh, as far as I can tell, there there's no custom action going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, so this okay. is just MSI behavior. So it's not a works problem. Um, I'm actually really intrigued about target dir being used here, I know it's legal. Yeah, I'm, just it, it seems weird. I know target dir is set from, what is it, root, root drive? Yes. And root drive is the thing that actually varies based on available free space on fixed hard drives. Um, so I don't think target dir is dynamic, but it just seems really weird to use target dir. Um, so again, as far as I can tell, there's there's no Wix thing, Wix involvement here. It's just whatever MSI is doing. All right. So we have to resolve this on external because there's nothing we can fix here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. And I assume these log files are what helped you figure that out. Um, not not particularly. The, the it was not a very uh, it was a it was not a simple repro. Right. Uh, oh, but can, you can repro this. Sorry, it was not a simple repro case. Okay. I, I can't repro it, but I also don't have... Um, sorry, I, I cannot repro it on using the the case that was provided because I can't build the case that was provided because it's, yeah. again, not a simple repro. But we're sure that this, the validate custom action is not in there, right? Correct. Correct. That's yeah. just an MSI message. All right. Well, yeah. Bummer. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I'm okay about that. Sometimes I'm not. Twenty twelve R two. I mean, the latest to greatest. Um. All right. Wix out, not possible out project file hack. Right, and it's basically our project files don't support building Wix outs. Yeah, and I asked why do you need a Wix out, and they said they do some post-processing on Wix outs and then use them as inputs to another tools down the process. Since the task supports Wix out as a primary file type, shouldn't the MS build target? Um, I don't know how you would use this. Um, I guess they have some sort of processing. Um, kind of like, I'm not, oh, sorry, wrong button. Um, I don't know how much, I don't know how much we should, 
don't know if we should create these things. They're kind of intermediate. They're designed to be intermediate stuff for like transforms and things like that. Not a final output. I don't know. Do we want to maintain a Wix out output as part of the MS build targets? Well, uh, it's not an output necessarily, but it is the output of the linker. Yeah, but it's, it's typically it's used as an input to like transformings and th transforms and things like that, which, you know, the output would be an MSP file or an MST file that we would produce as something out of the MS build targets that are not built today, right? Those are not outputs that we support today. That would be cool if we did. Yes. So I'm just like, do we want to maintain a Wix out project type thing? I, I, I don't care because I think anyone who's using a Wix out is, is, you know, probably All right. advanced and doing, you know, other funky stuff that they, All right. They're, they're grown up enough to, to also, uh, if necessary, munch the targets. I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't bother supporting it directly if we're blocking it here. Like, you know, we're telling you what target, the target extension. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's kind of parental, but. Um, well, we need to set it based off of what the project type is. That's what we're doing here. We set the but, extension based on. Yeah, but it's not overridable. I see. I mean, that's one of those, that's as far as I would go. Personally, that's as far as I would go. Uh, if target, oh, so there's no way to set target. Okay, so the, the fix here could be if target extension is already set, don't set the rest of these. Mm, something Which like is that, just yeah. what Jacob said. Right, if not, yeah, if target X, yeah, no, no. Not Probably. for it. Yeah, all right. So I'm fine with the target X thing because if you want to output your MSI without an MSI extension for some reason, you know, like you want to call them PKG files or package files and stick them in your bundle and not ever have them be double clickable MSI things. I mean, mm, yeah, I'd be like, okay. I mean, <laughs> I could see you choosing to do that, and that's not horrid. I mean, because yeah. the MSIs are not intended to be MSIs at that point; they're you know hidden away. You would not be able to do that with the way target X is written. So, all right. I'm not sure about this bug, though, as Wix out as a file format. Um, the task supports it, which is good, because the task support should support everything that Candle and Light support. Right. Because you could use the tasks. I don't know about making the whole MS build target build Wix out. He's probably like, well, all you do is fix this, and then it works. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, well, and, and remember, a Wix out is, is essentially useless unless you can re-link it. And I don't, I, I would not go the, so our far targets, as to say, Our targets can't do that. Our targets can't do that, and I would not, yeah, again, you're doing something really advanced, kind of funky, kind of also not really in the, you know, MS build spirit. So, no, no, we're not going to go there. But, yeah, you want to, you know, pass in whatever the, the property is to the task that says output, you know, Excel, whatever that. All right, so so I think the answer to this bug is what Sean and John were suggesting. We should I think we should suspend it because the answer is since the task supports Wix out as a primary file type, should the MS build target? The answer to that is no. Um, just because the task supports it doesn't mean the MS build targets should. The, those are different <laughs> axes. Um, That's right. So I think the answer to this is. No, we're suspending this. We don't want to support this in MS build target. However, there is a bug that we should go fix it so you can set your own target extension. So if you set the target extension, we should not stomp on it. Uh, sorry, so you want a new bug? Yeah. And you want me to do it? I'll do uh, it. If you open the bug, you can assign it to me, because <laughs> I think I'm going to go in and do the the compression to none on debug, and so since I'm in there, I can go fix both of them. You want this in 4.0? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. We could take it in 3, I guess. That's up to you. Do you want it in 3? 
I don't care. Then put it four. Okay. <laughs> Default media template should be assumed in Wix four. I agree with that. That would be a good thing. I yes. wonder how hard it is to make that happen. I was just looking at that code a few days ago. Yeah, it's it's unfortunately it's not as uh, it's probably not as straightforward as it might. No, I I actually I think it might be. It, okay. It's, just, it's basically a matter of saying because there's code in there that says. Anyway, we don't care. There's, uh, real quick, there's code in there that says if there's no media and no media template, then that's an error condition. And so I think... Oh, that's true. I think right. you just basically go, if there's none of these, then give them one. Yes. And carry on, I think. But no, I think you're right. <laughs> you never know. I was looking, when I was reviewing the bind database stuff, I was yes. looking at that because I'm like, oh, yeah, I put it in that request. But you're right. Yeah, there's, I think there is. Uh, four O. Yes. And we'll see if it. All right. Wix installer four five one unable to uninstall assembly three five from GAC. Counter an issue while upgrading from 3.5 to 4.5.1 came a situation where one application is using no longer built on that. Tries to uninstall the assembly previous. It could not. Pre but it keeps searching the logger assembly in the 4.0 GAC. What? Oh, I remember this. And I was like, yeah, so we create MSI packages. So is this is this an MSI issue or Yeah, it's like, well, I don't know what we would be doing to make that happen in Wix toolset. Yeah. It I mean MSI is entirely neutral on versions of the CLR. You would think well, there is a matter of getting yeah. to the right GAC. Uh, sorry. <laughs> MSI is silent on the concept of CLR versioning. Mm, there is that. And and that's bad sometimes, like for GAX, right? Because it's always yes. going to default to the latest or the highest version. It tends to. I don't know. I mean, as far as I know. Um. All right. So I say we resolve this external with a nice little message that says. If you find that we are doing something wrong in Wix, please reopen this bug. Um, <laughs> okay. He's going to have to go hit the MSI team. Good luck with that. I hit tab. Oh, yeah. I'll um, there are many changes. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yes. I happen to know those fire giant guys are actually almost done with this, believe it or not. Nice. So. <laughs> By the way, we didn't have an area for SDK, so I said, or for a Wix cop or whatever, so I said just toss it in SDK. I didn't, I couldn't think of anything better. That's yeah, that's a bucket. Heat should escape dollar signs and file names. Oh my gosh, someone has dollar signs in their file names. And the preprocessor eats it. Yes. This is a Java thing. Yeah, it's a Java thing. Uh, I agree. That should be fixed. <laughs> 3x? Um, sure. I. It should, I mean, it's a bug. Someone should fix it. It's heat. Yeah. I have yeah. a hard time getting excited about it. <laughs> yeah. I also have a hard time liking how the preprocessor escapes dollar signs, but. Um, all right. Well, we could talk about fixing that. But I don't know what we would do. 
Man, backslash, like every other... No, no, you can't do that, because you'll end up with directories or things like that with a dollar or a registry path with a dollar sign, whatever needs to double escape. The, right? the backslash is only when there's a dollar sign involved. and it's <laughs> Dollar signs show up far less than backslashes do. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> in our world, unfortunately. He's a forward slash. They show up very rarely. <laughs> Except in yeah. URLs, but yeah. Um, sorry, no, the, the, the problem with doubling is that it's just, you know, it's silent but deadly. Well, it's not silent. It, well, oh, it's no, I silent. Guess it didn't. You're right, it, yeah. it silently did it. You're right. You're right. It, it, it's a string. The string is always legal. Um, unlike, unlike with like a you know a C style. Well, you know, we could backslash. say that you only need to escape it if there's a parent after it. So we have dollar parent, right? Yeah. And so, so if you have dollar parent and you want the dollar parent, then you can do dollar dollar parent to keep it. Yeah, I I don't want to make the rules any more complex. Um, it's it's fine. Help. Sorry, I, I just I, I've run into this before, not with heat, of course, but um, uh, with generated files that that have to get included, and you know you have no control over those. Yeah. So. I'm, all right, I'm I'm anyway, I'm open yeah, to this ideas. Is, this, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we should take this, and we can. If anybody has better ideas for how we should escape the dollar signs in 4.0, we could take them. I don't think we can do anything in 3x for that. Agreed. Light failed to find compared to elements. Oh yeah, right. This bug. Oh, uh, I probably broke something. I don't exactly know where, because I didn't think I changed the linker between those two versions, but something went awry. I probably broke the something was comparable before and is no longer comparable and I need to go sort that out. So anyway, I'm uh, not giving sort it to myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can... This should go in 4.0. Oh, yes, this should. Yes, and I need to fix this light 001 message. I've been thinking about it and I now have a bug that basically is like <laughs> light 0001. If you see this, there has been an internal error in the Wix tool set. Here's the message. Following this error is a stack trace. If you're running an MS build, the stack trace is probably in your log file and not visible on the screen. Wait, if can you we open just, a bug, please go get that. Can't can we just get the whole stack message as part of the... Maybe. I don't the know. The problem there? is because there's new lines to, that print it out like this. Yes, MS build yes, sees yes. them as info messages when they're not yes. on the line that has the word error in front of it or something like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we'd have to put error, 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 error in front of all them with the prefix and. No, that that might be that might be fine. I mean, except it would turn into you know, oh my god, eight thousand errors. Right. Fortunately, these tend to be deadly. So. Yeah, like, that's true. You only get one of them, so you'd only get eight thousand of them if you had eight thousand links. Um, anyway, I need to go do that because I'm going to get some of these in Wix 4 and yeah, people are going to yeah, continue yeah. to give us this message and it's going to be like, where's the freaking stack trace? Right, right. Add comma extract a file attribute. No. <laughs> Sorry. That was just no. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this uh, is fixed by 5.9, so we can untriage it and I'll resolve it. Because I saw this, I was like, oh, don't! I got everything else, not this. Come back, fix it. <sighs> Badness. And you really won't start up with... Without those two things? No, these... Without those two things, yeah. These turn out to be extremely important assemblies now. Yeah, well... <laughs> That's what happens when you take parts of the... Uh, uh, compiler, linker and pull it out in the separate assemblies. Funny that. Localization, this has a duplicate hotkey A. Oh, 
But the Dutch love the letter A. I don't know. Well, not really, because I think there's one missing somewhere in here. Oh, that's an E, but anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to make that joke. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, <coughs> yeah, I, the print button has an A in it. That's interesting. I bet it's not spelled the same way. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I very much uh, appreciate that he translated whatever <laughs> print is in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's the Smurgle button. Yeah, whatever it is. So, anyway. um, yeah, so... I mean, it sucks, but I also hate making these changes in, in 3X. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, obviously it's very rare for for people. Yeah, I agree with Jacob. Uh, although Dutch has fewer characters that, you know, confuse us monolinguals. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it has a few, but... Uh, no, I, I, I hate just ch changing the characters in 3X because sometimes... You know, I mean, it's so exceedingly rare, but, you know, someone could have screenshots that, you know, show it. it, it it's not a big deal, and I probably should, you know, just accept it. Um, I don't know. Well, that's where the A came from, I guess. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, Jacob, that is the same problem, though. It's like, if there's any concern, it's that, you know, we're going to invalidate what someone has shown or, or documented, you know, in a screenshot or in instructions. It's extremely unlikely, given the bug. Yeah, because it wouldn't work. Or I don't know what it would do. Um, Only one would win, right? Or I don't know what the duplicates does. Um... Yeah, actually, I have no idea what they do. If they're broken, I, I really don't care. I mean, again, the screenshot thing is so I, unlikely. I, I don't think it... I don't, I don't remember what duplicate... <laughs> I, I know they work in a menu, but they just go round robin, and I don't know what right. they do in a... Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm okay with taking it into 3X. Okay. I think it's not necessarily broken, broken, but it's close it's wrong. Enough. It's wrong. Yeah. All right. We're done. Is it? Whip improvements. There's been one change, which is the migrate V3 to V4, which is what that feature is tracking. Um, and progress has been made on all of this, believe it or not. This is all done. The question came up on the dev mailing list as to whether we needed to um, do the same thing for the breaking namespace changes, um, like in DTF, and there was something else. What was the other thing? Um, Sean, uh, what was the other thing you brought up? Burn interfaces. Oh, and the burn interfaces. Right. Thank you. Yes, good call. Fair that. So um, there should. Um, I don't know that there's any code for that, and that we're going to implement to help migrate there. So I'm wondering if we should just write the doc for that, just make that a doc item, and not have a whip for it and things like that, right? Well, it's one of those. You know, you, you probably don't want to maintain two mostly identical things. Um, yeah, so maybe in this proposal, we should also change this proposal to put the the fixes, basically the this document tracks instead of this document, we put this, you know, this document attempts to track. This document basically becomes in the documentation at this link, Yes. tracks all the things. Make sure you up that li update that list as Wixcop does them, and then the considerations list will be empty. It'll basically be, yeah, go see that list for things that are not migrated. So basically pick all this up and put it in a doc in in Wix and shrink this document down to the bare minimum. 
So basically this says, to find the stuff that needs to be migrated, go see the documentation that shows up in Wix Chum and on the website. Yeah, that would work, okay. as long as it works well. Well, yeah, that every time you fix a bug in Wix Cop, you also you know go fix a doc page, one of the pages in the Chum as well. Yeah, yeah. As as long as the link linking works, then yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to get the Wix four doc up on the website to do a link, but yeah. Uh, uh, or I could put the title of the I could put the title of the page up there. So, but anyway. Um, yeah. Mm. Well, the Chum will work, right? I'm sorry. The show, the show. Oh no, it'll work just fine. I mean, all okay. that will work. It just you can't create a link from this page to that. But we could give it a title. Say, go see this titled thing. Oh, which I sounds. Yeah, hey, I don't yeah, really yeah. want a link to GitHub. I want people to go to the documentation site on here for for users, kind of. So, anyway, we'll we'll, we'll get it. the The big tricky thing about the reason I haven't done the doc yet is that when we do the doc for Wix four, we're going to start getting the duplication across three and four, which just ends like up we got from two to three. just like we got from two to three, which slowly starts confusing the um, the uh, search engines, and then slowly starts confusing the peoples. And we mm -hmm. have to figure out, <laughs> one of these days we're going to have to have a discussion about how we want to solve that problem. Just like we did from two to three, where eventually we phased out two. Um, so, oh, that's right. It's not on the site. It's not on the new site. Uh, yeah, two's gone. Okay. We slowly phased it out because, well, honestly, two, really? So. Well. What, what, what Halloween was that? Right. <laughs> I, I don't remember. 2006? Five? Sorry, which Halloween are you talking about? That we, we deprecated Wix 2. What was that? I only remember Halloween deprecating Wix 1 back oh. in 2004. Oh, Wix 1. Okay. All right. I, I remembered it wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, progress. On that note, looking <laughs> forward instead of backwards. Ten um, years. Oh, man. Yeah. Now I feel old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We, Eric, Eric, the Wix tool set was originally written in 1999, like the first version. So Eric is like, you guys have been doing this for a long time. Like, we've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> yeah, a long time. Well, I have. Bob, a little bit. Well, longer. I was going to say, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm the newcomer. I've only yeah. been doing it for 10. <laughs> um, so Wix 3.9, I think we're still on target. We didn't take anything... 24 in this week and hopefully we take nothing next week which means we'll do the juggle do the dance and it will all come out awesome um 310 will be right around the corner which honestly will be no big deal um wix four features still as you can see um i'm doing stuff we got the fire giant guys doing stuff uh jacob i mean uh, sean has sent some stuff which is cool um so if there's other things that people want to do keep thinking about it and, I don't know, March, sometime next year. <laughs> sometime earlier than later, hopefully next year, I still think is what we're doing for 2015. All right, we've gone over this again. Still no comments. People are kind of like, yep, we know. We know the drill at this point. Anything else? 30-minute meeting because we started about five minutes late. Um... Anything? Anything? That's not bad. With 11 bugs, we're able to get through them, have a little discussion about it, and go through our whips in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. John Cooper says it's all good. I don't disagree. All right. You guys can have the rest of your day back. Awesome. Love seeing all your beautiful faces out here. Uh, until next time, next week, probably same time, same place. Uh, you guys keep coding. You know we are. Later. Bye.